guys, it's Theo here. Today I'm going to be showing off another pen on the channel, and this one is called the Tie Scribe Bolt, and it's made by a company called Urban Survival Gear. As generic as the company's name sounds, this pen is anything but. This has been my EDC pen of choice for the past few months, and for very good reason at that. First off, let's go over specs and pricing. This is the titanium version of the pen, but their other standard models are brass and copper. Right now, I believe Urban Survival Gear is also doing a limited run of ceramic coated pens in various colors. This is also the version 2 of the TIE Scribe, the first one being a Kickstarter project that was good, albeit plagued with a ton of quality control issues. The TIE Scribe comes in at 5.58 inches in length and 0.375 inches in diameter. Weight wise, the titanium version comes in at 28 grams. Bear in mind that if you go with the other metals like copper and brass, it's going to be a lot heavier as a result. Overall, this is a very slim and lightweight pen in its titanium configuration. Let's talk about what I like on this pen first. The mechanism of the pen is the real star of the show. A bolt action pen has two primary advantages over a traditional clicky pen. The first one is that it's almost impossible to accidentally actuate the bolt action mechanism. If you've ever carried a cheapy plastic pen in your pocket, you probably know what I'm talking about. It's far too easy to sit down and accidentally push in the clicky mechanism on a traditional clicky pen and this rectifies the issue. Now the second advantage of a bolt action pen is a bit more subjective, but I think most people would agree that actuating a bolt is way cooler than just clicking in your traditional cookie pen. I'm a big fidgeter and I get distracted pretty easily, so it's fun for me to flick the bolt on the pen back and forth during my classes. That said, I'm not sure how fun it is for my peers, but that's a different story entirely. On a functional level, the TIE Scribe is the best bolt action pen on the market, bar none. This is predominantly because of how the clip has been integrated with the bolt. Let me zoom in here so you guys can see it. So in this case, the clip is the bolt. And a big issue that you run into with a lot of bolt action pens is that they limit the orientation in which you can write with the pen. And the Fellholter TIE Bolt is a good example of this. The TIE Bolt is probably the highest quality bolt action pen you can buy, and the bolt action is indeed probably nicer on it, but you're severely limited in terms of grip orientation because of how you actuate the bolt. What I've got here is a tiny bolt. It's basically just a smaller version of the tie bolt. I left my tie bolt at home. I don't have it on hand at my dorm. So yeah, but as you can see here, you have to hold this pen in a very specific way unless you want it digging into you. And because of that, the tie scribe wins functionally. You can hold the pen in literally any orientation you want. Something else that's nice about this pen is refill flexibility. This pen will take a good variety of refills and it comes standard with the Pilot G2. And that's this ink cartridge here. Great standard ink cartridge. And refill flexibility is important, especially for me, because I don't often keep pen refills on hand like I do right now. Most of the time, I'll just salvage a refill out of a cheap pen I find off the ground or something like that, or I have laying around. So yeah, if the standard refills aren't your thing though, you can opt to purchase a refill converter kit for the Parker style and the Fisher styled refills. The final thing that this pen is going for are the aesthetics. The TIE Scribe doesn't really have anything that pops out or screams pretentious, and I really like that Urban Survival Gear has gone with a much more subdued, clean look. The pen doesn't stand out or draw attention to itself, but anyone who looks at it is going to know that you've got a quality writing instrument that's leagues above your standard big pen. The only real milling that's been done to the body is these grip rings at the top, or at the bottom of the body rather. And I know that some people might like them to be a little bit higher, but they have been perfectly functional in my experience and they work well for me. There's a lot of super fancy pens in the EDC world, but I really appreciate that the TIE Scribe keeps it simple and doesn't try to be more than a pen should try to be. Something else I want to point out is that the body has been stonewashed and this means is that it's going to soak up damage really well over time. Like you can tell that the body's been scratched a ton, but it really just blends in so, so well. That's why I love stonewash and it's one of my favorite finishes on titanium. On the topic of titanium, I believe the body is grade 2 while the clip is grade 5, and that's just based on what I've read online. Grade 2 is generally easier to machine while grade 5 is a lot harder to work with, and that would make sense given um, that this is a pen. And you're not really going to be able to tell the difference between the two actually, so that's just a uh, hypothesis on my end. So yeah, now that we've gone over the good, let's talk about what I don't like so much. There's a very specific way that you have to actuate this pen using the bolt, and there's even a video on the product page uh, showing it. It specifically tells you not to actuate the pen in any way other than pushing down to activate it, and the standard pushed down again to disengage the pen's mechanism. Realistically, this just isn't gonna happen, and what eventually happens is that you're going to get hairline marks in the titanium from where the clip brushes against the body. Um, so even though you can see that the clip is slightly elevated above the body in real world use, that, um, the clip is still going to brush against the, uh, 
titanium body. So yeah, like if you use your, the pen, like if you actually use the pen on a daily basis and you flick it like I do, it's definitely gonna mark up the titanium a bit. I don't perceive this being an issue in long-term use because it's titanium after all, but it is worth noting if you're expecting a pristine pen or something to that effect. Something I particularly dislike about the design of the TIE scribe is the clip itself. Functionally, it does its job very well, but um, let's not forget that the clip is also the means by which you actuate the pen. As it stands currently, when you push down on the pen, um, or on the clip rather, uh, to actuate the mechanism, it can really dig into your finger after a while. There's an edge that juts out a bit here, and it just juts out just a little too much, and it would really benefit from being chamfered just a little bit. This isn't an issue if you're only taking the pen out occasionally to write with and flick with it, but believe me when I say that if you flick it a couple hundred times during class, you'll definitely be noticing the edge digging in. I do also have some reservations about quality control. The build quality is acceptable, but not on par with something like the Fellhalter Type Bolt or the Tiny Bolt I have here. There's a good argument for a Fellhalter making the highest quality bolt action pen on the market, but that's another topic entirely. Um, quality is generally something that you can feel when in hand, and this guy checks most of the boxes, to be honest. Something that's a good indication is the threads. And because titanium is a galling metal, it really says a lot about quality. So you can tell that the threads on this pen are slightly gritty. And relative to something like this, you definitely notice a difference. These are whisper smooth and the thread threads are just flawless, despite the fact that titanium is a galling metal. So yeah, not quite on par with a Fellhalter in terms of quality. Um, far from it actually, but still acceptable nonetheless in my opinion. Something else I'm going to point out is that this laser engraved logo on the clip is not perfectly centered either. Um, here, let's see if you guys can see it there. So yeah, it's not a big deal, it doesn't affect anything functionally, but it is an aesthetic issue that I would like to see rectified eventually. And another aesthetic issue I'm going to point out is that um, the head and the body are a slightly different shade of gray. It's a bit hard to pick up on camera, and honestly, my eyes could barely perceive it at first until I posted it online and other people confirmed my suspicions. So yeah, there's slightly different shades of gray. They've been uh, stonewashed individually, and doesn't affect anything uh, functionally, once again, but it is an aesthetic quality that I would like to see um, improved upon in the future. In conclusion, this is a pen with an excellent design that I could use with a few minor improvements. If you're coming from a standard cheapo pen, then this will absolutely blow it away. In fact, the tie scrap smokes a good majority of the sub $100 EDC pens I've seen on the market. And it's only because I've owned some really high quality pens, like this one here, that I'm able to point out these small minute flaws with the tie scribe. However, one small good thing that I neglected to mention earlier is that a very good reason why this pen is so popular, at least in my opinion, is because it isn't fundamentally overbuilt like a lot of the big name EDC pens are. Um, if you put these two together for comparison, you'll see that the Tiny is a lot thicker, and it's just totally, totally overbuilt. And that's a good thing, there's no doubt about that, but it also makes it a lot more difficult to write with in practice. Um, this thing definitely has a different intended use, and the same thing applies to its longer brother, the actual type bolt. I think they're more geared towards people who are maybe on a construction site or are totally abusing their pen, because in real world use, you don't need a pen this thick and overbuilt, let's be honest. And conversely, the slim long fact form factor of the TIE scribe is reminiscent of a pencil, and it allows you to write comfortably over a much longer period of time. All said and done, the TIE scribe strikes a very good balance between practicality and aesthetics, which makes it an apt EDC pen for the vast majority of people. This is generally my go-to recommendation if you're looking for a good entry-level bolt action pen. So yeah, uh, as always, thanks for watching, and if you found this review informative, be sure to like the video and to subscribe for future content.